Hey everyone, Michael here. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the whole suite indicator on TradingView. This is a really good one for identifying trends, so let's get started. You're going to be looking at indicators, metrics, and strategies, and from here, I want you guys to type in whole suite, just like that. And you guys are going to see at the top of the community scripts right here by Encelico. I want you guys to click on that once, and then here, you guys are going to do a few things. First, you're going to go over here to settings, and I want you to change three things. The first one is change the length from 55 to 60. You're going to change the length multiplier from 1 to 3. And all the way at the bottom line thickness here, I want you guys to change that from 1 to 15. This is the standard makeup of which you guys will be using this primarily on the daily charts and on the 4-hour charts and sometimes on the 15 if you guys like to do a little bit of scalping, okay? Now, the theory here is normally when it's green, you're thinking of buying in at the nice uh, trend reversal here. And you're hoping to just catch a trend and ride the wave. You're usually not going to be buying when it's going down like this unless you see some type of technical breakout. For instance, here as far as Bitcoin's concerned, you can see we had a breakout right here. But this one really didn't tell you to buy. It looks until about right here. So this was actually after the major move. So what you're normally going to be doing here is not just using the daily charts, but like I just said, using the four hour charts. To help you guys see this a little bit easier, I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to change this box to being on color candles based on holes trend. This will just show you candles based off of the trend. So it would have told you to buy right here instead of buying at the breakout right over here. Okay. To kind of fix this up, you look at different time frames. The four hour is one that we use quite a bit. And if I zoom in right here, you can see the trend started to turn green right here. I would be more comfortable buying the breakout right there after it's turned green. So I know the trend has changed in the four hour chart and therefore I can expect a much larger move because it is ultimately a breakout. If I were to make this a bit more precise, because I did set this up on the four hour chart, or excuse me, the daily chart, you can see the breakout was actually quite accurate, broke out right here, or you could even say right here, broke out happened, and the green trend, you could buy either one of these zones, and within a few hours, you guys are just as happy making some good profits. If you guys are trading leverage, you made like a few hundred percent. If you guys are trading with just spot, you guys are still making a pretty decent profit here. You can also use this on the 15 minute chart and some other things. But for now, the other technique I want you guys to understand is also that you can change one other setting. This is the whole variation. Whole is the HMA is whole moving average. Okay. Just like with the regular moving averages, you can have triple exponential DEMAs. Whole is no exception here. You guys could always test this out by doing the TEMA here or doing or the triple whole moving average or the exponential whole moving average. So if I move this over behind me and I just change this to the TEMA right here, you're going to see it change just a little bit more here. Okay. And usually what you're looking for is just a difference in the buying opportunity. So let me try that one more time for you guys. There we go. So this is the regular. You can see this one, the regular hole went green a little bit sooner than the team right here. And let's go over here to the exponential. Exponential was even a little bit later on top of that. So for this one on Bitcoin, at least for now, I'd be using the regular whole moving average. But if I find an example or another asset that actually looks better with the team or the exponential, of course I can use that. One more example I can show you guys as well as this is for stocks. If you guys like, uh, you know, stuff like uh, NVIDIA or, you know, Netflix or any of the, you know, any regular stock out there, you can see on the four hour chart, if you guys bought right here and you guys see the trend shifting, you wanted to buy right there, you could have made a good profit off of this. Of course, you guys are going to be using other types of tools. You guys aren't just going to be looking at the green and saying, hey, I want to buy. But, you know, you guys can be placing resistance levels. And wow, look at that. You could have had a scale up point there, a scale up point there, a scale up point here, or a scale up point here, or even a scale up point there. It's not going to be too hard, but you guys have to be looking at the overall trend. You guys don't want to be fighting it. Look, at we're green here on the daily. You could have been looking at all that. On the four hour here, as we come back over here, the trend shifted green right here, but on the daily, it was still overall green. So you guys can still be looking for a buying opportunity down here and looking for those support levels. Whether you guys are looking for Fibonacci retracements or anything like that, right? Some pivot points here and here. Not the best, I have to say, but I'm guessing there's something wrong with this one and I need to put this off. And there you go. Pivot point there, pivot point there, pivot point there. You have the opportunities, but you're going to have to be switching from different time frames in order to get the most out of this. And on top of it, again, you can go back over here and change this into a THMA. See if that changes up anything. Not really. Exponential. 
a little bit more. Exponential actually works a little bit better for this one, so that may be something you guys want to look at as far as NVIDIA. But you have to test each one out uh, based on what you're actually looking at. Don't use the same settings you're using for Bitcoin on NVIDIA or Apple versus uh, Ethereum versus uh, Dogecoin. You have to kind of see which one is best because some stocks and assets move a lot more volatility than others, and some just like to go a little bit more sideways. It's okay, but you just have to do the little bit of work on the front end here to see what's working out the best for you, okay? That's it, everybody. And if you guys wanna see more videos, I have a 22 indicator uh, help list right here for you on Finviz.